The text of the bill itself um, says that the, the, um, the settlers can keep their homes if, they, if they, they settled there in good faith, which is to say they didn't know it was private property. Now the West Bank, it's, it's often hard to know who owns a piece of land in the West Bank because there's a Jordanian land registry that kept some of the Ottoman land registry and under the British there was a land registry and the, the overlap, they don't completely, <clears throat> there are areas in the West Bank that just aren't, aren't written down in the registry in any sense. Israel hasn't imposed its civil law in the West Bank because that would be annexation and so there's no single um, place where at what you know, every parcel of land in the West Bank is written down under someone's name, as there is inside Israel's borders. So there are a lot of these conflicts. There are many settlers who landed in a spot, didn't know it was privately owned by somebody, uh, and then somebody makes a claim and they find it in one of the registries, uh, and, and, and they go to the court, and the court says, well, you know, we accept this registry, we have since 67, so this is private land. Um, the problem the critics are raising, this good faith Thing, you don't let the settlers keep the land if they knew they were settling in private property. You only, you, they can only do it if they did not know and it was in good faith. But if they know that if they pretend that it was in good faith, they'll keep it, then they'll do it in bad faith and claim it was in good faith. Right? In other words, it, it's encouraging um, bad faith um, uh, seizures of land, essentially squatting and, 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 and theft. Uh, and again, not at the question, not at the level of uh, politics and Palestinian statehood and peace talks and settlement expansion and things like that. That whole debate, uh, that political debate, but at the much sort of more visceral level of just private property. Um, uh, you know, it's it's essentially the critics' fear going to make uh, make it easy to uh, to grab private property of Palestinians and get away with it. Simultaneously, the government uh, or. Ministers in the government, senior ministers, including Naftali Bennett, have been pushing for Malay Adumim first uh, annexation, and the next stage apparently would be the Jordan Valley. How far along is that move? At the moment, um, Netanyahu is opposed. Um, I think the vast majority of the Israeli political system is opposed. Um, annexing Malay Adumim is a huge uh, a huge step. Um, there's territory, the so-called E1 territory between Jerusalem and Maladumim, which is necessary for a Palestinian corridor. If the Palestinians are going to have contiguity and the Maladumim becomes part of Israel and there is a Palestinian state, that corridor is fundamental between to Palestinian contiguity. Between connecting, in effect, Judea and right. Samaria. Right. So you would create this bubble of Israel um, and, then, and then there's this land that is still disputed, occupied, and not Israel, and then Israel again in Jerusalem, um, and and you would do this um, as sort of a piecemeal. You would get, you would bring on yourself all of the criticism of an Israeli annexation of the West Bank, legal challenges, international criminal court, possibly, um, quite possibly. Now that the Palestinians are signed on the Rome Statute, um, and you would only gain Maladumim, which is to say, not a very large. Um, so the idea that you unilaterally annex but don't actually withdraw. There have been even left-wing proposals that Israel pulls out of 95% of the convergence plan that Ehud Olmert ran on in 2006 and won the election, promising Israelis, I will pull out of 95% of the West Bank or whatever it was, and that will be ours. That 5%, which is the settlement blocks, and the major, that will be ours, and we're done. And we're not negotiating, we're not talking, and we're not, you know, the Palestinians have this unilateral. contiguous state, unilateral, and safe. We'll hold this little line in the Jordan Valley so that, you know, between us and Islamic State is the IDF, and we're not relying on the Palestinians. Um, um, so that, that, that has already, right, we've had elections on that, and that came really from the left. Um, but the idea is that you would annex, but also give up at the same time. Here it's annexation without giving up. Um, I, think, I think the costs are great. I, certainly, I think Netanyahu doesn't want it. And we have very good indications that the Trump administration doesn't want that kind of unilateral move uh, from Israel, uh, so at least not now. Maybe when Trump gets involved, we'll see some sort of step, bold right, step like we've seen now. Um, whether it's wise or not, we don't know, but, but certainly bold. Um, so that's where it stands. It's it's probably frozen. Uh, the Hasdara bill, the regulation bill for Amona is 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 moving forward. Um, the uh, Maladumim annexation bill is almost certainly not moving forward.